Hello, mes amis. Welcome to Tiny Life Takeover. I'm Denny Daigle, and uh, you see my dad pop in and out of these episodes. For today, the project is going to be this. What is this? This is where the couch slash bed is going to be. So I do have another bed planned as a loft bed that will rise up and down, but this needs to be the comfort spot, which is why I have to pay a lot of attention to how it's done. Clearly, I can't go into Ikea or any furniture store and just buy something that's gonna fit there. It has to be well thought out, well planned, well executed. <laughs> So this project is going to be me trying to build my sofa couch where I'm going to be spending many moons enjoying watching some TV, relaxing, and just being super comfortable in it. And that's the quest. Super comfortable, compact, closes up to as small as possible, well-built, that's going to be strong, and wish me luck, folks. Here we go, let's do this. So as a first big point, stove's there. This will be a food prep counter and kind of right there is when I'm starting the couch area. And it has to go so that once it ends here and I pull it out, I want it to be on this side so this gives me kind of my five foot width and then depth and oh look, here's the wheel well. So I have to figure that out. Ugh. Here's my prototype. So here's what we're trying to do. We're trying to pull this so that there's gonna be three sections. So it will triple coming out and all these tongues are all interlaced. All right, let's see what this will do. All right, well, you can see how this is working. <laughs> let's uh, tape a few things up here. All right, so, I think I've figured it out. Let's try this. So the first section is pretty easy. That's how you typically see it in all those sprinter vans when they make that pull up bed. But it's the second part that was tough to figure out. But here's what I've come up with. <laughs> so basically, by putting slots on top of this last part, pinning them down, uh, that solves the problem. Not perfect, but when this will be out of, made out of wood, that will solve the problem. So I guess there you have it. One, two, three. The only way I could have come up with this solution was prototyping it and trying it. So, that's the solution I'm gonna to present to my dad. Let's see how it does. So now that I have a prototype in mind, I haven't really found plans per se for it. Just took the measurements and I saw examples of kind of a, a two-fold approach. I need to do three. So let's start with cutting up some plywood and uh, We'll see where it brings us.
got all of the components. We're gonna try fitting them together. Well, it's a little windy. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but uh, the prototype has become a reality. It works pretty good. The length is fine, holds my weight. So next thing is to go try it in the tiny house. All right, well, here it is laid out. Gives me extra room here, but uh, I already have some initial learnings. So here's a few. So first things first, yeah, that was 24 inches, but as it extends, each of these planks are kind of taking a three quarter inch each time that it's extended. And ultimately at the end, I only have 66 inches. So about what, six inches away from that 72 of six feet. So that's the first thing to question if that's okay or if I want that changed. But it does leave me with some good room that people can walk around the bed. So I think this is kind of a, a good thing. I don't have to think about that. And the other thing I've noticed is these have a tendency to go up and down. So I think what I'm gonna need to do is carve out a slit on this side and then put a pin that's going to dig in. So that way, when it goes all the way to the end, that it's not going to lift. So that's number two. And number three is that these are a little too tight and they can't squeeze in at the end. So what I'm gonna do to resolve that tightness that's happening everywhere is just lift these boards up with washers underneath. So everywhere where I have screws, I'll add some washers. Uh, so those are three things that I'm gonna have to fix, but I could never kind of see it until it's put in here, but it's coming along. All right, so um, as I said last time, you can see a little bit of it here, but I put a washer under each of those screws, uh, which solved the problem of being able to slide up here to each of these. Uh, second thing that I did is I did a uh, quarter inch groove in each of these and well, showed another problem. So I put these pegs, these dowels, quarter inch, and now we have that groove that they all sit in. But as you can see, there's the problem of the sway. So talking about that with my dad, he says that he has a uh, routing bit that's kind of a keyhole and I think that's the only way that we could stop it so that instead of just a straight dowel it could be a screw that has that flare head or whichever way that it would work where uh, it would catch on that edge and prevent it from from swaying but if we have those it kind of solves you know, the problem I saw this plank has to go over here through all of these things, it's really solved a lot of problems and we're gonna keep iterating. And uh, I think we'll have this problem nailed 
or screw. And on this side, it'll be the same thing. So it, I, I cut it a bit too short. So I'll raise it up to be 13 inches by 30. And then we'll have these two sections. So uh, that's the direction that we're moving in to change things up. Friends, we're evolving. Here is version one, and here is version two. Much nicer, and that keyhole that stops it from moving this way. So. What about the design? I don't know, I guess I want something a little bit more, a little bit more style, I'll call it. So, I'm really eyeballing this. I don't know how strong it'll be, but uh, I just wanted something that was different than just kind of a, a plain board. Plus, I want to go under the couch, so I'm giving this a try. What do you think? Here we go. a neat trick that I just learned that I wanted to pass on so as you can see I've put some nails to give me that gap and because they're round as I'm moving these boards to line them all up it's kind of easy because they kind of roll plus I have this pressure on so anyway, neat trick I wanted to pass on I guess for this episode I just wanted to show you the thinking behind you know taking something completely out of my mind and pieces putting that together uh, versus what I'd done for the front porch swing, which is going online, finding something, a design, and then doing that. So I hope you appreciated uh, the whole process. Uh, we have a little bit more tweaking to do on this unit, um, but I just want to show you kind of one of those pieces of the puzzle that we did from scratch and just figured it out as we went along. We were waiting for stuff that we've ordered uh, in between projects, summertime and all that uh, so we're we're waiting basically so that's why I wanted to show you taking an idea from my head to prototyping to trying it out and then to adjusting and iterating as we go which is super similar to building software so I hope you enjoyed it and until the next time thank you my friends for watching and I look forward to hearing more about your projects and stay tuned for our next project all right God bless. Take care.